Hi guys, welcome back to Nexon channel. Last week, I make a showcase how Tengra is really good for utility and orb holder even without max refund weapon and without complete runes. I already tried Tengra in competitive season Magic Prison recently on 27 rank in second week and it performs really well. So now, I will show you my build and job testing for Ra. The build that I make is full reduction fully built to make my rat stay alive longer when holding any orb. The good thing that you have a damage immunity while also building your damage reduction and it makes your rat so tanky. The CC is like like bringer that routine, meanwhile rat is disarming. Although you make a tank build, your damage also can be high because of FOP skill that will trigger bonus damage if you hit the enemy. Arcane Master and Thanatos is the most OP DPS nowadays in Magic Prison, so I will try a test to tank it. First, I test it with Kyle, high-end Arcane Master with 130% Depo. If you see here, I can reduce his Tetra well enough. Not only the reduction, but also block and fully change. Discern also makes us have extra time for survive. His CL's damage is hurt than the tetra itself because it's that damage. Then if you see, I can still survive against it. Next, I test it with Esther, high-end Thanatos with around 150% Depo. Docking 4th base of Thanatos is really good survivability skill that Rod has. If you see, Esther has some trouble when hitting me, same like before, the disarm. We can kill as Sprout Holder even we are using Support Build. All skills are important based on your timing so I will explain one by one. Valkyrie is the most important for Endure. HP Restoration, Skill Damage Increase, Skill Damage Reduction, Holy Attack, and Abnormal Status Resist. COC for Immunity and Extra Movement Speed. Also give 30% immunity to your teammates. Define verdict for diving and gives knock. Spirit summoning as high DPS swords and can disarm enemy. Blade of order for DPS and physical defense reduction. Define wing armor for immunity like HP block relic FOP to trigger unremovable HP loss to enemy when we hit them. And the last one. Secret Retribution to change your element into Holy and boost it. For the combo, usually our buff is the most important thing to use so switching with Billy just here. Cast FOP to your target and cast Blade of Order, also Spirit Summoning. Here is my skill setup. Here is for my status. As a port, max fit is a must for HP and defensive status. Attacks for hit, strength and intelligence to increase rats damage a bit. And the last one, agility for magic flee and auto attack speed. For runes, complete all is a must, but if you are new like me, 3 runes with star still okay. Golden flame to reduce damage. Let us soft war to reduce COC cooldown. Epic Spirit to reduce damage taken. Project Destruction for longer disarm. Spirit of Fortitude for reduce final damage. And the last one for extra damage with Aurora Feather. This is my equipment recently. For offhand, is Merin Soul Bulwark for elemental reduction with GTB Star, more magic reduction. Shadow equipment use giant armor shield.
Teddy bear's armor, also good for elemental reduction and cards, is changeable like elemental, oliluri, RMS, or garm. Is chosen armor for anti-fear, a shadow equipment. We spoke code for damage reduction with Eclipse Star, Defense Star, or Dark Assassin RMS. Use Deer Skin for Shadow Equipment. Super Mecha War Boots for damage reduction can use Edga, Moonlight Flower, or Dark Earth Star. Use Green Rattan for Shadow Equipment. Martyr's Nuclear for extra max HP and use double O series if you have. Fanatical Arbiter as the best weapon because the tier 5 effect that makes your lives easier. Use double Spazir for flee or Prioni for hit. All headgear is adjustable depends on the enemy but the most important is Bapomet Pack for magic flee. Here is my mirror. You can use Hogger X for breaking or CK for pen. At did cat armor or meteorite armor depends on your resist. Probably can use Horn of Witcher, or Horn of Unyielding, or Spiritual Blade. If you see a red skill, she doesn't even have any self regenerating skill, like LB with Restart, CM with Warm Breeze, Vegeta with Photosynthesis. Etc. In that case, is some item that can be good alternative to regain your HP. Lowly Uri Star have a chance to restore your HP 10%. Our Angel Equipment and Deposit will give you 5% HP recover every 10 seconds. Defensive Counterattack will recover 2% match SP in first and second map. Also 1% in third map. Your teammates also can give you extra HP regaining like Warm Breeze from CM, Xavier's Flower from Nidhogg, and Coleo from Saint. As you know, Blade of Order as main DPS skill weakness is Earth Field, like Card Tornado. In that case, you can use Auto Attack to hit, but make sure you cast FOP first. Dot damage or HP loss is the big weakness for red, for the example like poison smoke, dot sucking grass, battle, gas, and more. In that case, try not hitting them or better playing safe. In some case, you can use virtual reality to counter some HP loss effect like bleed, burn, or poison, and don't forget use FOB first to trigger the damage. That's all for the guide. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know with type in the comment section. Thank you.